Throughout the United States, the superhighways designed to speed us along are actually slowing us down. They're falling apart, punished by brutal weather. We're in Chicago. We get snow, it gets cold, it gets 20 degrees, it gets zero degrees. And crushed by the relentless stress of heavy loads. One truck does the damage of 10,000 cars. Luckily, help is on the way. Engineers and construction crews are racing to deploy new tools and new technologies to stem the tide of destruction and keep the wheels of the nation rolling on America's super roads. But rebuilding a road doesn't always require complete demolition. A road can be resurfaced like a house can be repainted. 400 miles away in Chicago, Illinois, a more surgical style of demolition is underway at the Dan Ryan Expressway Bridge. A two and a half mile stretch of elevated highway crosses over a commuter railroad and the city's Armour Square community. The road surface on this bridge is showing signs of wear. Just like when somebody gets older, you get that first wrinkle, you know, that first gray hair. We started getting some potholes, some cracking. So we knew that we're going to have to do something eventually. Since other sections of the Dan Ryan Expressway are under construction, the state of Illinois decided to also fix the bridge, extending its life another 20 to 30 years by resurfacing the elevated roadway. Step one. Precisely remove a quarter inch layer of the old concrete surface using a cold milling planer. It takes two days to grind just two lanes of highway, which is fast compared to the speed of the next step. To remove another quarter inch of concrete, these two trucks perform a special task called hydro scarification. The operation begins inside this lawnmower sized housing. A spinning blade sprays 16 gallons of water per minute at 34,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. All the concrete aggregate removed by the sprayer is vacuumed through this hose into the lead truck. So all that remains is a clean but jagged surface. When we pour our concrete on top of that, it binds it very well. Resurfacing the elevated road has proven far less invasive than replacing the entire structure from the ground up. But this minor surgery can't stave off the inevitable, because eventually this bridge, like all bridges, will have to be replaced. <laughs>